What happens when you click on a link from a phishing email? Well, I'll tell you right now, usually nothing good. So let's first start out with what even is a phishing email? You're like, Maddie, phishing? I don't go to Bass Pro Shop. And my answer to that would be not that kind of phishing, but malicious computer email phishing. And a phishing email usually claims that a urgent action is needed from the victim, uh, usually by having them clicking on a link and slash or downloading a malicious attachment, malicious link, what have you. And these malicious links and files are what we typically call Trojans, which is kind of just like malicious stuff masquerading as something else and something non-malicious. And then I'm going to show on the screen an example of a phishing email. Found this one on Twitter via, or sorry, X, via John Hammond. Someone tried to fish him. So as you can see, we received a complaint about the content you posted on your page. After reviewing it, we found that it does not comply with our X community guidelines. And then it's having him click on a link urgent. Oh no, my X account going to happen. Click it. Boom malware gets installed or it has him log into his ex and then they get control of his ex and bad things would happen now a phishing email is not what i'm about to show you these examples these examples are taken from other cybersecurity content creators since we all work in the content creation industry aka work you guys know what i mean we make videos <laughs> so we get emails about brand sponsorships being like, hey, what's your rate to place an ad in this video, blah, blah, blah. So these are just some of the examples of those. These are not phishing. These are scam emails. So these would usually involve a back and forth conversation, more so playing the long game, maybe trying to get bank details, things like that. So that's the difference between phishing and scamming. Very important. Very big distinction. So let us get in to some examples. Let's click on some phishing links and see what happens. Windows 7. This one says, the project has been completed. Please place the order and return the insurance documents to the company for arrangement. Thank you. Run that. Got some more processes popping up now. As you can see, over here, we opened Outlook. We opened WinRAR. I never say that right and then open project.exe which then opened reg services.exe um under it so you can see the kind of tree process with that and click in more info agent tesla has been detected actions look like stealing a personal data steals credentials from web browsers Actions look like stealing a personal data. Agent Tesla is a remote access Trojan written in .NET that has been actively targeting users with Microsoft Windows OS based systems since 2014. Agent Tesla, sensitive information stealing, key logging, and screenshot capture. It is sold as malware as a service. Campaigns involving Agent Tesla often start with phishing emails masquerading as legitimate messages from trusted sources. Today, steal creds and personal data, which is what we saw in any run. Steals credentials. Stealing of personal data. Steal creds, capture screenshots, intercept communications, record keystrokes, upload and download files, spread to other systems. Yay. The malware is delivered via a spam email attachment in the form of an office document or a zip file containing the malicious payload. Executed with the help of VBS macro scripts or through vulnerability exploits. File sharing platform paste bins. Second stage. Okay. Out on here. Connects to SMTP port. Let's go back. Let's do this one. More info. Regservice.exe. Some network threats here from this one. Here are more info on this. We have the DNS request. Mail precise co.in. Threats. SMTP email client opens transfer with server. Then we have the service thingy down here. Then we can view the network stream, kind of like a Wireshark deal. So let's view the text on this one. So we're viewing the text. Um, the send and receiving auth login. So it seems like successful auth login there. And then hello user PC. Then down here we see mail from 
Yeah, precise.co. All right. This one, we are going to be running a public analysis. You can see the OS, Windows 10. See the file upload, this PDF, and .rodriguez.svg. So, run a public analysis. Pulling up. Verify security during session. Enter CAPTCHA. Sure. T. A. 6. Z. That's the most unchallenging CAPTCHA I've ever had to enter. Verify. CAPTCHA verified successfully. Thanks. A video. Voicemail. Oop. Now it's taking you to log into your email. Enter password. Password. I'll type in something. Sign in. It's incorrect because I don't know the password. <laughs> nice. So, for this example, they try and get you to put in your credentials for an email and take your credentials. Usually through like a redirect domain or that one, it was like directing through a voicemail file. Let's replay that. Entering the CAPTCHA, me talking about the CAPTCHA, verify dot dot wav, click play. I wonder what happened if we downloaded that and then it redirects to login. And as you can see over here, you have all the processes that occurred during all of that interaction. So actually let's restart this because I want to see what happened. I want to, I want to download the, the file. Verify. Good thing that was verified. <laughs> okay. Download. Can I download? No. Information? No. I can't click on anything besides the play button. And then it just redirects me. Okay. Interesting. See the threats? Down here at the bottom, suspected phishing domain. Domain name, this guy right here. This is a completely fake Microsoft login page. It's a URL. Toily Raven, whatever. It's not even, not even Microsoft. Okay, anyway. External IP address to look up domain and DNS lookup. Device retrieving external address detected. Sweet. So that was just one of them. They try and get you um, redirecting you to something else, um, something that looks legit, like a sign in page or like an actual sign in page. So it just depends on what they want to do. Either way, they want to get your credentials. So an actual email. Action required notice workspace activity from Robin Mano at BellaBabyPhotography.com. So this is one where they send you a PDF. It's obviously not a good PDF. You should only preview files from a trustworthy source. Previewing this file might not show the full content of the file to see its complete up-to-date content. Open the file. To see its most complete up-to-date content, open the file. Terrible wording by Microsoft on that one. <laughs> anyway, I want to see its complete up-to-date content. Preview. So this is the preview. Google Workspace. So let's just open it up. We previously informed you that your Gmail account will transition to the new Google Workspace. You may begin this process by clicking continue. Please note, failure to comply with these terms will result in your email secure link expires in 72 hours. Another hurry up. You got to click this link or else something bad will happen. Even though if you click this link, something bad will happen anyway. A sense of urgency. And if you hover over it, you can see it already redirects to HTTP mandrillapp.com track click. So let's continue. Sure. Let's allow that. I'm a human. And it is taking me to sign in to my Google account. So they're going to get my creds. You can see down here where my mouse is bottom left. Outlook.exe, phishing has been detected. We click on more info. Phishing has been detected. It says the email right here. Let's see the threat suspected phishing domain. That guy right here, go off. And you can see the DNS requests 
down here, mandrelab.com responded. So that's just some examples of how some phishing emails try and get you to sign in to steal your creds and your data and what have you with a fake domain redirect sign-in page. The next one I'm about to show you was actually sent to me by another tech IT content creator. So appreciate you for sending me one of your phishing emails. Thank you kindly. Anyway, I'll show a screenshot of the email here. It says, hello, I have already made the payment last Thursday. Please find attached the wire transfer receipt and confirm with your bank. And then the download for the wire transfer receipt. So let's check this bad boy out. So it has them sign into Adobe. It already auto-filled their email address and the email address input field, but I backspaced it because duh. And then it just has them enter their password to preview the PDF document. But obviously they're just gonna get the creds. Then the URL, users admin update a local temp swift wire transfer receipt for February and voice.html. So I just thought I would show you guys that one um, since it's real life from a fellow content creator. So I thought it would be cool. So that is all of the phishing emails. Um, as you can see, mainly just want to steal your creds, um, things like that to try and log into your stuff and get your data. Yay. So hope you guys got something out of that. Make sure to like, subscribe, punch all the buttons in the face. And thank you to anyone for sponsoring this video. Love them. You should use them. Sign up with your business email and analyze some malware.